Hey everybody, I talked to you in my last video about how important it is for you to learn how to deal with the more subconscious, unconscious layers of who you are in order for you to get rid of what is no longer needed so you can make room for more positive things in your life. If you want to align yourself with a bigger purpose for your life, a vision, um, abundance, all those juicy things that we really want out of life and that are absolutely yours to take if you are willing to take them. Again, I want to reiterate anything that you do to improve your life will not live up to its highest potential if you do not do your shadow work first. It's like when you go to plant a garden. Before you go to plant a garden, you have to get the soil ready so it can be a rich and fertile environment. And sometimes when you are going to plant, what you're gonna find is there may be weeds in your soil, there may be remnants of your garden from the previous year in the soil. And so if you don't clear all of that stuff out, it inhibits your capacity to be able to plant new seeds upon which they can grow and they can flower and they can thrive in the environment of your garden. Your life is the same way. If you don't do your part to weed out all the stuff from the past, all of the crap from the past, all of the stuff that doesn't belong, you limit your container, you limit your capacity to be able to plant new seeds and have them grow to their highest and full potential. Not only because you don't have room to carry all of this stuff around, but also because all those weeds and all those other plants that may you know, regrow once springtime hits, once summertime hits, they steal nutrients, they steal potential, they steal resources away from the things that you really want to grow and your life is no different. After I work with my clients on shadow work, we are able to start doing some rewriting. The rewriting phase of my framework is where we literally go through the intense rewiring of the brain and i do mean literally by doing that we're then able to start to solidify more positive patterns in their life which will in turn replace some of that negative stuff that we've started to weed out ultimately what this does is align them with more purpose more opportunities and more abundance I do this through a combination of redirecting exercises, through a combination of also spiritual tools to help facilitate that redirecting phase that we go through together, and also some mindfulness techniques to help them control their mind and use their mind more as a tool rather than the other way around and letting your mind control you with that anxiety, fear, doubt, what have you. If you wanna learn how you can start to rewire your brain and connect with a more intentional way of living, I got something for you. One thing that you can do the next time that these negative feelings start to creep up is to ask yourself if there is a basis for feeling that negativity. Like, is the feeling true? And if you think that it's true, what evidence, what objective factual evidence do you have to support that what you are believing, what you are feeling, what you are seeing is true? And then what you could do is think about one way you could see that situation in a different light. This is more of a journaling exercise. Uh, a lot of times you're going to have to do this in hindsight and you can even do this for some things that you have been through most recently or in the past. And I think it will help you not only start to see the truth for what it is when we step outside of our feelings and step outside of our subjective view of the world, our own perception of the world, and start to really look at things for what they are, factual based only. And then the part where you are learning to look at that situation differently starts to rewire how you think about situations and it also starts to help you to think about things from a different perspective. If you dive into the rewriting phase, like just go headstrong all in, it's a very exciting phase because that is the phase where you actually are starting to plant the seeds for the life that you want, the vision that you want, your life purpose, your legacy, the things that you wanna manifest. So it's a very exciting time for my clients and I, and this will be a very exciting time for you if you choose to incorporate some of these activities in your own personal practice as well. It can be kind of difficult to do on your own though, because if you are very emotionally tied to the things that come up, it can be really, really hard to start to rewrite things on your own or see different perspectives 
is when you're down in the thick and the weeds of it all. So that is why I love coaching. That's why I love helping you guys. That's why I love helping my private clients because I am with them every step of the way, helping them with this rewiring, rewriting step in incremental doses so that we can make sure what we are implementing is gonna be successful for them long after they are no longer working with me anymore. I only have a limited number of slots available. I didn't open up too much this time. So if you want help to start to rewrite and rewire yourself, your brain, so that you can start to move forward with passion, with purpose, with intention, with flow, then you can reach out to me and I'll direct you on how you can reserve your own coaching slot. All right, talk to you in the next video. Big addition, I can go.